now, but it had a lot of them. Each one of these is the fruit that's developing there where there, where there was a flower. There are also some vegetative buds coming up and developing, but uh, this uh, it's a miniature shrub. Uh, the, the leaves are little uh, things that fall off where each one of these clusters is. There's also a beetle that lives on the uh, prickly pear cactus and chews holes uh, in the epidermis. And that's what we're seeing crawling around is this beetle. And I'm looking for signs of where it's been feeding. And I don't really see See it might that be too new much. Um, intruders. It might be relatively new. There's bugs on it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a here. beetle that's found only on this uh, plant. What about it those chews circular parts? holes in the leaves, and you, when it's been there for a while, you see little yellow spots all over. Do you think where you can get one on your stick? Chewed. Well, it probably does not want to come off the cactus. It's because it's just eating. There in the middle there. Be careful. The dangerous part in this is not the spines that are this big that are sometimes produced, but these teeny tiny little clusters of spines that are... They stay with you. Yeah. <laughs> they have a little hook at the end, and they stick in the skin, and they don't want to come out. So that it's very irritating. So you have to avoid touching these tiny little spines in the middle. They're this hairline. is the leaf. This is an actual leaf, and the leaves are only there at the start. As soon as the pad has fully expanded, the leaves fall right off. So it's, these are stems that are flattened and uh, adapted to store water. The leaves would just lose water. So the leaves are now just reduced to these little things that fall off. And everywhere where they fall off, it leaves that little round spot with the little stickers. Little gockets that'll stick in the skin. This is a good one to look at, not a good one to touch.